Now let's talk about some real money making sites. These are those medium competition sites and they typically fly under the radar. Most people, people look at them, brush them off and that's where the money's at and it's easy pickings. Now let's look at the characteristics of what we would consider medium competition. And you know, typically these sites are in some bigger niches. You know, they're not mainstream, but you know, they're they're close enough to it that most people will consider it mainstream. Yeah, you know, and these sites typically have, you know, they've been optimized for some home page factors. You know, their titles are probably set up a little better. You know, not a whole lot's been done to them, and these are really money maker sites. Now let's take a look at this. You know, we were looking at crawfish traps here. You know, seventy eight thousand results. Let's go ahead and take a peek at woodworking. And in this case, it's going to have you know 20 million results. And woodworking is kind of a broad niche and can be easily broken down into some you know very profitable minor niches. But I just want to kind of show you this: woodworking.com. Okay. First thing we do is look at the Google PR, and they're showing a PR on the Google bar here of four. And you know the site, if you look at it, it appears to be template driven just from you know initially looking at it. And that template could be like a Pixelmill template. It could be a back end template that you know this is stationary and all this is pulled together. It could be like a PHP setup. But you know, typically there'd be consistency in the site. You know, if you click on shop, you know, all this would typically stay consistent. You know, and it generally means somebody's took the time they put the site together and they've thought through some things and in this case you know our title here shop for woodworking tools woodworking.com and obviously it's been optimized now let's go ahead and take a look at the backlinks and you know, we've got 85 backlinks here and you know a lot of these are probably coming from their own site and we're actually going to go into search modifiers later on where I show you how to exclude the people that have sites on their link so you can actually see who is linking to them. Now, you know, these are medium characteristics here. You know, template driven looks good. You know, Google PR between three and five. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. And woodworking.org. You know, there again, you're looking at it, probably has consistency across the entire site. You know, doesn't look bad. Yeah, you know, not a bad looking site overall. Now, one thing you need to notice about this, these sites typically have a PR in the range of and I've said this before, but you know, between three and five. In this case we're looking at a PR of four, so it's not too hard to get. Let's check our backward links here. You know, 125 links. Question is how many of them actually came out of their own site? And you know, just looking at this, you know probably could be a profitable very profitable niche okay we have a woodworking about com now about is something that if you're not familiar with it they were really big a few years ago and pretty much they're like the guide to everything and then the wiki came out and hence wiki became the guide for everything and these guys have a lot of trust rank and in this case we're looking at a PR of five so you know a lot of trust rank, a lot of PR, and they can keep that and pass it around among their own pages. And you know it's they they've got that PR because you know what they provide very solid information, very very good information. Let's go ahead and pop on down here. Now this one, you know you're looking at this and it's a PR three, so you know we're getting to something that's going to be a little easier to take over. You know, it's like a very content rich site. A lot of links here, tremendous number of links. Okay, looks good. And let's check ahead and check the backlinks on that. And you know, here again, Google does not always show you every backlink there is. But they had to get somebody linking to them to be in this spot. So, you know, with that said, let's go ahead and bypass that. Highland Woodworking. Go ahead and take a look at this one. Now on this we actually are looking at a Google PR of three. You know, there again, professional looking site, looks good, you know, nice graphics, you know, nice menu that you can actually navigate. And you know, here again, looks good. Let's go ahead and check the backlinks to this and see what Google will tell us. Okay, they have sixty seven backlinks. 
and right here we have a link from an EDU so you know that carries a lot of weight right there by itself so let's go ahead and back up come on down we have woodworkingtools.com and this is really what you need to do is just go through that top 10 you know look at who you're competing against and in this case PR4 you know nice text you know looks like it's pretty nicely organized let's go ahead and check the back links here kind of see how competitive it will be now here it's only showing seven links and a number of these are actually coming from their own site but remember Google does not show you every single link. You know, you would want to go to Yahoo to actually check every single link. But this is a good idea. We're just using this at this point to say, you know, could I go in this market? You know, I don't want to spend hours to figure out if I can get into a market or not. I want to be able to look at it. Could I get into it? Yes, no, maybe. If not, move on to what I think could be a profitable market. Now, we're at Popular Woodworking here, and these guys have a PR of 5, so it's looking good you know nice graphics now this is actually for a magazine close this link here so I can assure you they have a lot of people linking back to them you know looks good I mean they're getting template driven site let's go ahead and take a peek at the back links okay 93 and you know you have to look at this you know all these links count so whenever you're competing against somebody or you're looking at going to compete against somebody, you know, we need to look at where they're getting links from and if somebody will give them a link, more likely they could give us a link. So with that said, you know, remember just because they have a lot of links doesn't mean you can't get a lot of links. Okay? Now this is a very large company. They are a producer of books, magazines, and their PR is going to be six, you know, very high. But you notice, you know, they're at the bottom. You would think, you know, a PR6, oh my gosh, they'd be at the top, or they're not. Because, you know, you're looking at this, woodworking is not their primary subject here. You know, this is not what the site is actually about. Their site is actually about their book retailer. No, no, they're not a book retailer. They're a book publisher, so let me apologize for that. But, you know, we're looking up here. Now it looks good. Now I want you to notice something. Does this look very similar in the layout here? You know, nice little links down the side. Does that look very familiar to this? You know, if you're looking at it, you know, there's a similarity there. And because both of them are pushing a magazine, you know, they're going to have a similar layout. And here we have Woodweb. And you know, a link here, Google PR link of five. Let's check their back links here. You know, 769. Now, you would think, you know, these guys have all the back links, you know, more than anybody else. You know, they have a really good PR. Why come they're not number one for woodworking? Well, there are a lot of other factors that go into this other than links. You need to actually see what the links say about these people. You know, this could just be, every link could be Woodweb. You know, it could be Woodworking Search Engine. You know, whatever, the, you need to look at these links. Now, with that said, looking at this, you know, this is a medium competition niche. Hey, this is Charles. I want to say thank you for watching this short little video about search engine optimization, about getting more traffic to your site. Um, if you want to find out a lot more about SEO, and if you want to get over five hours of SEO videos free, just go ahead and click up here at the link in the description. Go ahead and click on that. Um, I'll take you to a page. You can go ahead and sign up, and you'll have free access to videos. Everybody else has paid $97 for, so I think you'll enjoy it. So go ahead and click on that link, and I'll see you on the inside.